and welcome to the pre-lecture video clip on vector components in Newton's second law. Newton's second law is a central concept for the entire course. It explains the dynamics of all moving bodies. F equals M A. Well, of course that F is not just a force, it's the net force. And this is a vector equation, which is to say that the quantities on both sides of the equal sign are vectors. So when I talk about a vector, I mean a quantity that has a, both a magnitude and a direction. So if I can represent a force vector, say that's in the xy plane, the net force vector could be represented by an arrow that points some direction. The length of the direction, the arrow, uh, is the magnitude, the strength of the force, and the direction tells you which way it points. So how do I contend with this if I'm going to do a calculation? Well, our approach is to break F into components. The components are basically uh, vectors that are lined up with the coordinate system. So for example, I could draw a horizontal vector, F sub X, which is lined up with the X component, and I can draw a vertical vector, F sub Y, which is lined up with the vertical component. The net force then is equal to the vector sum of f sub x, the component in the x direction, plus f sub y, the component in the y direction. Now, we can do this with any vector. So it's also true that the acceleration can be broken into components. a equals a sub x plus a sub y. And again, these are vector equations where the quantities on each side of the equal sign are vectors, indicated by the little arrows on top. Now, if it's true that Newton's second law is true as a vector equation, then it must also be true in each of the components. In other words, we can write down Newton's second law component by component, which is to say the net force in the x direction, f sub x, is equal to m times the acceleration in the x direction. And the net force f sub y is equal to m a sub y. Now, that's, those are vectors on the, there, but of course, if it's true for the vectors, then it must be true for the magnitudes. And don't forget, we represent the magnitudes as the absolute value sign, or we just write down, if we write down the vector symbol without the arrow on top, that's a magnitude. No, it's the thing that I've written there. That's not a vector. So it must be true that the magnitude f of x is equal to m times a sub x. And likewise, the magnitude of f sub y is equal to m times a sub y. And of course, everything I've written here is true in x and y, but it must also be true if I have a vector that extended into the z direction as well. f of z is equal to m a sub z, where f of x, f of y, and f of z are the components of the net force. So this vector equation means these three equations here. These are not vector equations. In other words, a vector equation f net equals m a means this, these three equations without vectors. These are just numbers in the particular components x, y, and z, the magnitudes. 